Hello everyone, Rogue Fox here, and welcome back to another Minecraft Bedrock Edition Redstone Tutorial. For last week's tutorial, I made this super awesome barrel lock, which is perfect for a puzzle map, adventure map, or if you just want a different type of hidden input or combination lock in your survival world or realm. So for those of you who didn't catch it, a card will be popping up in the top right corner, and there will be a link down in the description below. Staying in the spirit of hidden inputs for puzzle or adventure maps, this leads us to today's redstone tutorial, and that is going to be the campfire input. Now this one was inspired by playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time as a kid, and you had to grab your Deku sticks, light it on fire, and light up all the other torches, or you had to grab your fire arrows and shoot the torch to get some sort of secret door to open up or to unlock something. So that is what inspired this build. And let's go ahead and take a look at how this works. So there are a couple of different ways we can do this. We do have a redstone lamp to let us know when the input has been activated. So imagine if this was hooked up to some sort of hidden door or just a door in general that would allow the player to go to the next part of your room or dungeon or whatever it may be. Now, again, two ways to do it. We have a flint and steel. That's going to be the first way. So if we light the campfire, that is going to activate the input. And let's go ahead and put it out. Now, there is no way to put this one out. This is going to be a very simple circuit because, like I said, if you're making some sort of puzzle or adventure map, once you open the door, it kind of just stays open, so there is no way to turn the fire off. Now, let's go ahead and move to our second way, and this is staying in the spirit of The Legend of Zelda, definitely. And we have ourselves a bow with flame one, and if we go ahead and take aim, there we go. We light up the campfire, and again, we can see the input is activated and again, that would open up the hidden door or door and allow the player to move on to the next room. Today's Bedrock Redstone tutorial is going to be very quick and easy. To make this campfire hidden input, you are going to need a 3x3 area. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our supplies. There we go. There are all the redstone supplies we'll need for today's build. So what we have are two droppers, a hopper, one observer, a comparator, one redstone dust, one campfire, your building blocks, and then you have your choice of four stair blocks or four slabs. With that being said, if you want to pause the video, go ahead and do that, grab your supplies, and then we'll jump right into the build. To get things started, what we're going to do is make ourselves a T flip flop. And to do that, let's go ahead and grab our droppers, and right here front and center, let's place a dropper facing up, turn ourselves around, and then crouch place a dropper on top of that dropper there facing towards us, or if we're looking at it from the front of the build, it is pointing towards the back of the build. Now go ahead and grab your hopper, crouch place that hopper into the bottom dropper, and if we take a look, you'll see that hopper is running in to the bottom dropper like that. Next, go ahead and grab your redstone comparator, and then what we're going to do is run the comparator out from the top dropper and on the hopper, so again, crouch place like this. So your build should look like this so far. And then what we're going to do is run that comparator into a block like that. For the demonstration, I'll go ahead and place a redstone lamp. But this is where the output would go from the T flip-flop. So what you would need to do is have a block here with a repeater going out to whatever you wanted to open up. So your hidden door or just a door or whatever you like, that is where that would come out. And then I forgot to add this to the redstone list, but... We do want a junk item inside the bottom dropper, so let's go ahead and place one building block inside. There we go. And then to finish up this T flip flop, all we're going to do is place redstone dust on top. And there we go. We have ourselves a T flip flop. Of course, it's always a good idea to give everything a test, so let's go ahead and give this T flip flop a test. We can place a block above it and place a stone button right there. We're going to go ahead and press it. There we go. There is the output. So the redstone lamp is on, and then if we press it again, it's going to turn off. So there we go. We have ourselves a working T flip-flop. Next, we can go ahead and set up our campfire. So to do that, let's go ahead and place two temporary blocks above the redstone dust like this. Remove the bottom one, get underneath, and grab your observer and place your observer facing in this direction. So we should see the red dot, and we also have the arrow pointing down towards the T flip-flop. From there, we can remove this top block. And now what we want to do is place our campfire. Now this is very important. At this point, we want the redstone lamp to be off before we place the campfire. 
So let's go ahead and place it. That is going to turn the lamp back on. But when we put the fire out, if it wants to go out, there we go. The observer is going to detect that when it turns on and off. So we do want the output to be off when the campfire is off. And there we go. That is all set up and ready to go. So remember, that is very important for this to work. And if not, then what you could simply do is add a redstone torch to the other side, and that will invert. But this is the easiest way to do it. And then from here, all we do is place in our floor. Depending on how you want to decorate the observer, that will determine what kind of floor you can place in. For example, if you want to have stairs going around the observer like this, you don't need stairs or slabs down below. You can simply place in solid blocks right here, and this would be your floor, just like this, going all the way around. But if you want to do what I did for the example, and you do want to use trap doors, which I think looks very good, let's go ahead and remove these. You want to place trap doors like this. You can't use solid blocks on the blocks that are under the trap door, because when this redstone activates right here, that is going to power all four of these blocks, and then all of your trap doors are going to flip up. And let's go ahead. If you don't believe me, let's just do it real quick, just for fun. Yeah, we, we don't want that. So we have to remove the solid blocks. <laughs> and let's go ahead and put these back down. So like I said, we don't want these to be solid, and that is where the stairs or the slabs come in. So what we can do is place stairs like this, and again, if this is going to be your floor, it doesn't really matter which way they face. I'm just doing it this way, just to give it a clean look for the tutorial, so it does look like it is solid. Try that again. Upside down stairs like this, so again, it looks like solid blocks. Or like I said, you could use slabs like that, so we'll do that for these two sides. And then that will work also. So if we light this up again... These are not going to flip up. So there we go. That is everything all finished. And for some reason, that campfire does not want to go out. And believe it or not, our campfire hidden input is now finished. So let's go ahead and take a shot. We light up the campfire. That gets detected by the observer, powering the T flip-flop, and then giving us a redstone output. And again, you would wire this up to your hidden door or door or whatever you want. And there we go. That is the build all completed. Now to make this campfire hidden input even more interesting, what I recommend is creating multiple campfires and wiring them up to an AND gate. So that means this input or this campfire and this campfire need to be turned on in order for us to get an output. So to make the AND gate, what we're going to do is have our setup that we've already done and then all we do to this side, instead of having redstone lamps, we place redstone torches. So we have one here and one here. This is powering the redstone dust, which is inverting this redstone torch and keeping the lamp or the output off. Now let's go ahead and take a shot. Now this comparator is powering the block, which is going to invert this redstone torch. And again, this is an AND gate, so both of these need to be inverted in order for this redstone to turn off because of this one is still powering that redstone dust. So let's go ahead and take a shot at this one. And there we go, that is how this works. So both of these are now inverted, which turns off that redstone dust and that allows this redstone torch to turn on, powering the redstone lamp or powering our output. And that is how we would wire this up to an AND gate. Again, I think this is very cool. So if we had some sort of door in the center and we had a walkway with campfires on the sides I think that would be a very cool addition to any type of build and there you have everyone a campfire hidden input for your survival world or realm this is the end of today's bedrock wrestling tutorial I really hope you guys enjoyed this has been Rogue Fox and I will see you later